Welcome back to the channel, my name's Jamison, and this here is, of course, a Subnautica guide. In this episode, we're gonna mosey on out to the blood, blood kelp zone, and get ourselves a Cyclops sonar module. So with that in mind, we're gonna get in our Seamoth, which is right next to zero point. Don't know what zero point is? Link in the right hand corner. Welcome right. aboard, Captain. Now we're in our Seamoth, we're gonna go almost directly in between southwest and west for 1300 meters until we reach a wreck within the blood kelp zone. Now this will take us past the sand sharks, whatever they are, the ones that bury, bone sharks. We'll be in the blood kelp zone so watch out for the amp eels and things that live there. But the biggest threat is going to be the warper that cruises around this wreck. So with that in mind, keep an eye out. Have a good oxygen supply. This is also a wreck, so take your scanner, your torch, your sea glide, your laser cutter, everything. And have a Seamoth that can go at least 500 meters deep or deeper. I think that's everything, boys and girls. So let's get into this wreck. My favorite Leviathan. I feel like I should make some videos where you do glitches with warpers. Drop a comment down below if you reckon I should. There's our first bit of angry fauna. Oh, and another warning. If uh, you decide to harvest the acid shrooms for their seeds down here, they will hurt you. So technically the plants and animals in the blood kelp zone are hostile. So, yeah, watch out. Anyway, we're now at the edge of the grassy plateau. Time to begin our descent. Here is the crater where we want to go straight down and there's our wreck you can enter from the top and navigate but the best way to do it is to come to the underside of the wreck like so careful the warpers there once underneath the wreck you'll see an opening somewhere passing 100 meters oxygen efficiency decreased which is here Oxygen efficiency and decreased. swim up through this crack here. Scan what you got to scan, explore the rest of it. Put the data box for your sonar right here. New blueprint acquired. And this functions just like the CMOS one, with the exception is it's a constant pulse rather than having to rely on yourself to manually activate it every few seconds like you would in this little guy. So that was it for this guy guys, I hope it helped you out, if you like it, like it, if you didn't like it, dislike it, if you want to leave a comment, put some feedback, a suggestion for another video, or just say good day, drop a comment down below, and uh, if you really want to help me out, consider hitting that subscribe button, I would greatly appreciate it. Once again, my name is Jamison, and I'll see you in the next one, adios.